Welcome everyone to the Hank Haney podcast here on nofilter.net. You can see the Hank Haney podcast on nofilter.net. You can also see it on the Hank Haney podcast YouTube channel. So go there and check it out and you can hear the Hank Haney podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcast. The Hank Haney podcast today is brought to you by Bet Online, it is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football from the NFL to college. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads while the games are being played. And think you know your stuff? Get in on our winner take all $300,000 NFL survivor pool for the upcoming season. And when the game's over, head on over to the online casino, get on a, in and on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind on one of the over 150 slot games. Head to the website today and use the promo code BLEAV and get in on the action. Bet online where the game starts, and that's betonline.ag. All right. Today, I'm fired up. Uh, they made the President's Cup picks. Now, that's the big one. That's the one that everybody is just like on the edge of their seats for. I have to admit, I love picking on the President's Cup. It is the absolute biggest joke of an event. So I'm listening to the radio. The Sirius XM PJ Tour Radio. Of course, they've got to they've got to hype up the the you know the Presidents Cup because this is a this is a PGA Tour event. They came up with the Presidents Cup as a way to rip off the players and make some money. Now they'll say the money goes into the pool and the you know the players end up getting all the money, which. You know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I guess they're getting more of it now. <laughs> Scotty Scheffler won $25 million at the uh, Tour Championship, so they are getting some of that money back, that's for sure. But the players play for free, and they do this once every two years. So once every two years, they have the Ryder Cup, players play for free, and then they have the President's Cup, players play play for free. And they go on, they sell this whole, you know, shoot match to the, uh, to the NBC or uh, whoever buys it. I think it's the NBC. And uh, they put it on the TV. And they have the international team against the Americans. Now, this has turned into be like a, a little uh, practice round for the uh, Ryder Cup. Uh, you know, get some tournament uh, experience for your team competition. It's this has turned into a, uh, a a place where players can learn to be the captain. You know, you got to know how to be the captain uh, of the uh, Ryder Cup team, so you can get a little captaining experience at the uh, at the Presidents Cup. But what this mostly is is just a, a money grab. This is a money grab. They, uh, they 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 sell this thing to the to the TV. And uh, they they put this this deal on. So this year, uh, we got the international team uh, and the uh, U.S. team, and they're playing up in Canada. Now, Canada is a great, great country for golf. I mean, they love their golf in Canada. So they're gonna get they're gonna get some good crowds out there. They got some Canadians playing. Mike Weir is the captain. You know the the. the uh, former masters champion, Canadian golf hero, and they love golf in Canada. So, so it'll, it'll be, it'll be well attended. It'll be a, a good event. Now at TV, uh, going up against the, uh, the, the, whatever they're going against in, in, uh, the NFL and college football, <laughs> not so much, uh, not so much, especially given the fact that, uh, the U S is just, trounced this this event's been going on since 1994 the u.s has never lost they have tied one time they had a tie uh but they have never ever lost this event so i'm listening to the series xm i hardly ever listen to the series xm although i do listen to the tournaments and the guys that do the broadcasting on the tournaments they're they're phenomenal uh it, you know I, I get worn out a little bit on the it, it'll be interesting to see 
you know, it, it's going to be a, a fascinating to see. Uh, can't wait to see. Uh, it, you know, all it, it, they they repeat a lot of the same things. Like, oh, certain guys repeat the same thing over and over again. I'm sure I do the same thing. It's not easy. I've been listening to them for years. But overall, they do a great job on the uh, on the the golf broadcast. I, I, I get I like that. I, I, I listen to it, I, and and a lot of times, you know, I mean that they're better than the TV. Honestly, they really are. So I'll turn the I'll turn the TV off, I'll, uh, sound, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll listen to the to the guys on SiriusXM. I, I I like their perspective. Okay. But as far as listening to shows on there, it, oh man, it is a it, it's it's a, it's a tough. It is a tough listen. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I used to be on there. Uh, I got booted when I picked the uh, the, the uh, Lee number six to win the uh, Women's U.S. Open. They said that was uh, – uh, I got woked and, uh, and I was gone, and that was it. Uh, so, so, it, so it's hard for me to listen, and not, not because of that. It's just there's not much to listen to. I mean, it's just tough. It's just too much fluff. It's too much, uh, you know, everything's great. I listen once in a while to my friend Michael Breed. I like Michael. Uh, you know, he, he's a great teacher. I like to hear what he has to say. He, he's, he's the mayor of, of, of Happy Town, uh, which, you know, is, is great. If you're feeling a little down, he'll get you up. Uh, you get the you get the the the, the nice uh, nice feeling when you listen to the Michael. He's he's really good at that. Uh, but you know I, I gotta have a little more tell like I, I love the gravy and the sleaze. I listen to the gravy and the sleaze. Uh, the the uh, the gravy hates me. Uh, can't stand me. I'm a podcaster and he uh, but he hates me. Uh, I like the gravy. Uh, I like to listen to the gravy. That would be the uh, the the cold nose. I like to uh, listen to the sleaze, Drew Stoltz. He doesn't hate me, which is good. I, it, it, it's never good to be hated. Uh, so, I, but I do listen to those guys because they will look. You know, they'll they'll give you now. They you know they're on PGA Tour Radio. They got a total line, but they're stepping out a little bit. So, I, so I was listening the other day to the uh, Presidents Cup. They're talking about the Presidents Cup, and these and they let on that uh, they let on. That uh, the the U.S. probably needed to win pretty soon. They needed to, this event was getting a little stale. They needed to win. <laughs> they, no, the the Europeans. The 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 no. I'm sorry. The international team. The international team had to win pretty soon. Okay, uh, U.S. wins all the time. Okay, it's it's I I'm confusing myself with the Ryder Cup. It's the Ryder Cup that the U.S. needs to win sooner or later. Oh, I, maybe it'll happen this next time. Uh, anyway, maybe the President's Cup practice rounds will get them ready for the Ryder Cup and they'll win the Ryder Cup. You know, they, they, they'll have all these, uh, the, the, these this great togetherness and, and it'll all translate into great play because that's the whole key of everything. Matter of fact, I, I was listening to another show on this series, XM, and uh, somebody called in and he said, uh, talking about the picks for the President's Cup, glad they didn't pick Justin Thomas, that he'd had enough picks uh, he should have never been picked for the Ryder Cup. I mean, this guy got off on this whole tangent, you know, he should have never picked him for the Ryder Cup and, uh, you know, Tiger and his buddies. And it went off on this whole thing. And the guy on Sirius X, oh, he was going to have none of it. He had none of it. You're, you're sounding like you've been listening to podcasts. I'm not sure if he was referring to my podcast or whose podcast he was referring to. Maybe he was referring to uh, a Big Pants Golf uh, podcast, he, you know, uh, or, or the, uh, the Pro Golf Critic. Maybe he was referring to those guys. I don't know. But uh, I wasn't the only one that said, uh, you know, that the picking your buddies deal wasn't. But, but you notice how they, they've gone off of the picking, you know, ooh, Keegan Bradley, he came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. Uh, to to be the uh, Ryder Cup uh, captain, and they went off of the you know uh, no no more of, the, of this stuff with the uh, you know the the good old boys club. But this this guy on Sirius XM, he was oh my god, he was just like oh I couldn't take it. He you know, like like no, don't be no, oh my gosh, do not criticize anything for the life of you. Do not criticize anything about golf. Oh no, my god. Do not criticize anything about the PJ Tour. You can criticize LIV all you want. Just don't criticize anything about PJ Tour. Do not criticize anything about golf. If you don't do that, then you're good. You're you're absolutely good. Uh, anyway, I'm listening to this, and they're talking about 
I'm listening to these couple different shows, and they're talking about the President's Cup picks. This event, who cares? This is the worst event ever. Now, I like to watch match play. Uh, you know, I, I might, I, I might, I like to watch golf, so I'll probably watch anyways. But when you have such a wipeout like you have in in in, in this event, and the and the international team isn't going to win. I mean, they you know they're going to tell oh they they need to win. Matter of fact, they were even saying they're going to cheer for them to win. Uh, you know, because they want they they want the event to to flourish and they need to win sooner or later. You know, they tied one time. They had one tie. Like all the U.S. wins, they had one tie. It was uh, Jack Nicholas and Gary Player were the captains, and it was getting dark. I think they were having a playoff, and it was getting dark, and they decided, hey, we'll just call it a tie. And we had a big kumbaya moment. You know, everybody came together. It was great. And, uh, you know, golf was a winner, and we had a whole, you know, da 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 celebration thing. And, that you know, that was that was all good. Uh, but but the chances that the uh, the internationals are going to win is, uh, l- listen, if you're betting and you want to take a long shot, uh, you can take that long shot right there on that team because that is a long, long, long shot. Even with even with, you know, uh, you know, so, some guys uh, gone, you know, they got they got no uh, Captain America. Uh, they got no Bryson DeChambeau. They're over at LIV, but they they got plenty of guys on that PGA tour, you know, that are gonna gonna handle the the business on the on the uh, the Presidents Cup. And now it's eighteen hole matches. I guess anything could happen, but it, it, anything's not likely to happen. Uh, but they're talking about they're, they're talking about this this Presidents Cup. And they're talking about the picks. You know, they had the picks, the big picks. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was, I got to, I got to be honest with you. I'm a golf fan. I love the game of golf. I love watching golf. I was sitting, I mean, I'm telling you, I was sitting on the edge of my seat. Like I was almost falling off of that seat. I was sitting right there on the edge of my seat, waiting to sell. I could, oh my God. I had it marked on my calendar. This is when they're going to make the picks. They're going to pick the President's Cup team today. Oh, my God. I got oh, – oh, it's like Christmas. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, it was a like Christmas. I had a birthday, uh, you know, a, a couple weeks ago, but this was like Christmas. Oh, it was so good. Oh, my God, I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Oh, geez, come on, seriously. So what did they do? The U.S. team – went right down the list. They went right down the list. This is just, just 1 through 12, whatever you are on points. And by the way, uh, th- that's a good way to do it because uh, you, you go right down the list and, uh, you know, you earned your way on there and you get a little, you know, put the USA on, you go red, white, and blue, and you get to represent your country. And that's, that, that's, that's good. That's the way it should be. Just, you know, none of this captain's pick stuff. Right down the list. This is a PJ Tour event. You earned your way right down the list. Right down the list. That's what you do. Okay. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, Xander Shoffley, Colin Morikawa, Wyndham Clark, Patrick Cantley, Sahith Thagala. I like watching that guy. I like watching Sahith Thagala. One of my favorite. He's probably, he might be my favorite player to watch. Well, not counting Bryson DeChambeau, but he's not on the PGA Tour anymore. Sam Burns, Tony Finau, Russell Henley, Keegan Bradley made his way onto this team. He's the Ryder Cup captain, and he's playing at the President's Cup. Pretty good. Uh, Brian Harmon, Max Homa. Okay, that's your team. Okay. These guys, world ranking. Not that that means anything, but it doesn't in, in this comparison I'm going to make because uh, the world golf ranking we know is all is all uh, rigged for the PGA Tour. But it, it's a good comparison you can draw against in this event, U.S. versus international. Uh, that team uh, that I just named, their average world ranking. Of course, Scotty Scheffler's ranked number one in the world. Xander Shoffley's number two in the world. And that is is uh, now Morikawa is is, is uh, number four, and uh, I think uh, would we we'd have uh, I don't know Bryson or Rom or something Rom number three I don't know where, where they are, you know it's all it, none of it's correct but but this is just a, for comparison's sake, but anyway you take the average just what I always do you take the average world ranking 
of the U.S. players and the average ranking, the worst player, 22nd in the world, Max Homa, 21st, Tony Finau. But those guys are the worst. And the average world ranking is 11.75. 11.75. Okay, that's what you got. Now you take the international team. Hideki Matsuyama is the number one player, and he is ranked number seven. Their number, their number two player is Adam Scott, ranked number 18. 18. Uh, Adam Scott is, uh, you know, he, he's not in his heyday right now, okay? And then you drop down, and you drop down, and you drop down, and they, they, they made a captain's pick, okay? Mike Weir did. He skipped over a Cam Davis, who's 41st in the world. They skipped him over. He was eighth on the points list. Guy got skipped over. I don't know if he cares, but he got skipped over. Uh, They skipped him over. Then they skipped over a Canadian, Nick Taylor, which makes no sense at all. He's a Canadian here. I won the Canadian Open. I mean, this was weird. Canadian Mike Weir skips over a Canadian while they're playing in Canada. I mean, what is the logic on that? It's just a, you know, I mean, put every Canadian out there and make it the 12 Canadians. What difference does it make? They're going to lose anyways. Put them all out there. Maybe the 12 Canadians would win. The crowd would go crazy. More Canadians, the better. I would go. I would have gone all Canadians. That's what I would have done. I would have gone all Canadians. Put all Canadians out there. And, uh, and what's the worst could happen? You could lose. You're going to lose anyways. Uh, so they skip over Nick Taylor and Adam had one, another Canadian at 13. So they go out, they go down and they take, uh, they take, uh, Mackenzie Hughes. Of course he's, a, he, he's, he's a Canadian. So they put him in there at uh, 65th and, uh, th- that was one of their picks. And then they pick Siwoo Kim, who's 14th and 49th in the world. If you skip over the, the, the 51st ranked player, who's a Canadian, you skip over the 41st ranked player, Cam Davis, and you take the 49th and 65th player in the world, whatever. I mean, I'm sure this makes sense to, to the captain, and they, you know, desperately want to win. And, you know, it's it's all about uh, how everybody matches up, uh, how, you, how you are in team dinners and uh, team room when you're playing the ping pong, uh, how you are when you, uh, you know, uh, pair them up. Got to be, got to be. You can pair them with anybody. You know that's what, something they like to say all the time. You can pair them with anybody. Uh, anyway, so they pick these guys, and their average world ranking, the average world ranking of this international team, is thirty-five. That's the average. Twelve players, thirty-five. So the thirty-five rank, thirty-fifth ranked player in the world, essentially is going against the 11th ranked player in the world. And they're going to do it like three days in a row. You know, all these matches, they don't get, they, they, not everybody plays every day. They cut that down. See, they, they try to cut it down. They used to play everybody. Everybody played every round. And they cut that down so that they could uh, give the internationals a chance. And it hadn't hadn't really materialized. But but they only, you know, they play five uh, foursomes, five four balls, and then they then they cut it down to four foursomes and four four. But still, anyway, it's ten players playing, then it's eight players playing, uh, morning and afternoon, and then you got the twelve singles matches, and and uh, everybody's you know getting a lot of action more than the Ryder Cup. It's it's a better format than the Ryder Cup, to be honest with you. I like I like the the fact that more players are playing. You can't hide as many players. I like the fact that when they go in to do the pairings, you know, one side picks and the other side picks and they match them up instead of the Ryder Cup. They just you make out your list. I make out my list. You make out your list. You make out your list. Put your list together. Oh, here, here well, look, look who's playing. Hey, not, you know, what, 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 that makes no sense. Uh, this is good. I, I do like this. They pair them up and, uh, you know, you'll get some really compelling matches. Uh, you might get uh, you, you might get Sam Burns or uh, and, and Russell Henley against uh, Kristen uh, Bezen Dunhut. Uh, and uh, and you could get him against uh, him and 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 Min Woo Lee. That could that you could get that match. Uh, you could get uh, you 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 could get Brian Harmon, and uh, you could get Brian Harmon, and you could get uh, you know uh, Wyndham Clark, and you could get them going against uh, Ben uh, Hun An 
and uh, maybe they go against him. And uh, let me see who, maybe uh, Taylor Pendrith, maybe that. Maybe you could get, you know, you never know what you could get. But you could get some some really, really in incredible matches here. You could get some incredible matches. And what you're going to see, if you watch, is you're going to see uh, a big, uh, a big disparity in the teams. And if the U.S. loses, it will be uh, the biggest upset ever. And uh, most likely what you see, the most compelling thing you'll see at the President's Cup is whether you have one night of celebration or two. If the U.S. smokes them the first two days, they can get it, they play for so many points the first two days. They can get enough points to close it out so that the singles matches don't even matter. That almost happened one year. That almost happened one year. Uh, so that's the thing that's that's never happened. That's never happened. And the international team has never won. Those are the two things that have never happened. So those are the two things you're going to be looking for. And the one that has the better chance of happening is a double closeout, a closeout on Saturday and close them out again on Sunday. And you have a, a, a two parties. You get to two parties. You party Saturday night because you want and you party Sunday night because you want. You have the the, uh, the the double party. That's that that will be the uh, you know that that that'll be the intrigue. That'll be the intrigue there. The President's Cup. I, I, oh my God! I can't wait for it. I don't even know when it is, uh, but can't wait for it to happen. It's going to be a, a great one. They do have you know some Canadians playing, and, and the Canadian fans will be great, and it'll be rah rah. You don't know who you're cheering for though, because it's like. But everybody likes to cheer against the Americans. There's no, there's no two ways about that. So they'll probably, probably do that. And uh, you know, they'll, they'll be hyping it up everywhere you can. You know, of course, they got to talk about something. And uh, you know, they're not, they're, they're, they're not going to talk about the, uh, you know, the LIV and the PGA Tour negotiations because that seems to be going nowhere. So they're going to talk about the President's Cup. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to uh, watch and listen to what they're talking about on the president's cup and then i'm gonna watch some football that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna watch some football that's what that's what i'm gonna do all right hope everybody enjoyed the uh podcast remember if you have the aches and pains and the muscle soreness uh joint pain arthritis pain my voodoo pain relief cream will absolutely help you tremendously it's 100% guaranteed, 15 anti-inflammatory ingredients, and it works like a charm. People reorder it over and over and over again. So go to voodoopainrelief.com. If you are interested in golf lessons from me, you go to haneyuniversity.com. And I got a lot of great stuff coming up. I got, I've got a lot of great stuff that's going to be uh, I'm introducing very shortly that I'm working on. So I'll share with that all that information on another podcast soon. But uh, check in on HaneyUniversity.com. All right. I uh, hope everybody has a great day. And we will talk to you soon on the Hank Haney Podcast.